diversity of the area. You might be introducing something that the nature said, this is not what nature was in the first place. It's a karma, no? It will produce coconut, but the away in the so, we want to chop in the trees. Oh, people use the coconut. Not the tree. We don't support the local government. We don't support the local government. Okay. Uh, there's... Uh, you have to resolve the contradiction. Why do you say people cut trees? And I think for what? Why do they cut the trees? Okay, for furniture. I think coconut tree, it's a last resort for furniture. Most of the time people use the coconut for the coconut. Right? So it's, there's some contradiction you have to resolve. And you have to tell me what coconut, uh, what trees you want to plant and why. So I plan to prepare a community branch that actually honors the and not in my hometown. Uh, it is the meaning under rehabilitation. It's not your hometown. Yes, I came from Bukidnon. Okay. Um, meaning and rehabilitation of water drainage in Canal or waterways. Since uh, there are canals, there are actually very dirty ever since uh, Bayong Sandong has devastated them. Okay. Look. Uh, it's a very, very ambitious project. You say cleaning and rehab of um, water drainage and in canals. You're just doing one hour project and that you cannot do that. Uh, Lower your objectives, <laughs> no? <laughs> because even the government cannot promise they will do that, cleaning and rehab. You know what rehab means? The Pasig River, you know Pasig River? It was so dirty, it's like, I don't know, mud. And they have to get money from the Norwegian government, Danish government, World Bank, IMF, and it took them so many years to clean up. And you are claiming you're doing rehab. It um, lower your objective, no? This will actually yeah. just cover two blocks, sir, in the barangay. You know what rehab means, huh? Yes, in fact, It's not just one hour. It's 10-year, 15-year plan. You're not doing that. Okay. I will just eliminate the word cleaning only. Yeah. But you only clean one hour again. After one hour and one minute, what happens? Yeah. Uh, rethink, rethink. Again, uh, if you just come and go, we are from the city, we clean up. Think, what happens after one minute? No? Rethink, no? Okay. And come back. My community service project. Your community? Yeah. Uh, no, no. No? Yeah, it's uh, seven kilometers from my community. Which is? Which is? Um, Sabi ka ba? Sulu. Sulu. Uh, this community po. I think the Abu Town population of food. Okay, what's your project? It's a recycling po of compost making. Par parang in this of the burn nila yung mga um, the, those pieces of anything, they would make a compost of their living. Because for their main living po is farming, which they or of those cobras, but most of most of it is farming of those uh, potatoes and any cassavas. So, my plan for it, they would um, have compost making out in a purpose of recycling so that they would um, help if they would not already buy some fertilizers but a compost. And if for that compost making um, would, um, I would just like to add up if that, um, I would have a vegetable garden for them aside of having their cassavas and uh, copras of their living. Because it, um, at my chosen community is like really um, a remote and it's like a forest. So I, um, if that compost making um, and there's still a budget, I'm planning for a vegetable garden for which it's only a few, few population and I have some pictures of this community. So I would plant some um, helpful vegetables to which can contribute also to their living. Okay. Uh, all of you who, who are planning planting trees, for example. Okay, it would be good that you work with 
local government, mm -hmm. uh, if you have governor, barangay mm -hmm. captain, mayor, and you think they will not help? Some will help, why? Because if they want to have a streamer with their name, it's publicity for them, right? Tapos ako yung election, maganda. Well, pero yung iba naghahanda sa next election na rin. In, in political terms, it's, uh, it's called name recall. If your name is always out, people will vote for you next election. So, and number two, work with the Department of Agriculture, the, the forestry. They might be even happy to give you seedlings. Yes. Okay? So maybe you'll get them for free. If you can work with the forestry. And get a letter from your principal. If you're in high school, in college, what do you have? President. President? Deans. Deans, yeah. Write to your deans or president. Ask them to write a letter endorsing your project. And then show them to the different ministries of departments, no? And they will give you seedlings. And you can uh, plant. plant and you get free supply. What about your vegetable plot? Where will you get your vegetable seeds? Seeds ba or, uh, or cuttings? I know an organic seed. So we're in the Seeds that are used the virus or the bottle. Okay. okay, one experience with vegetable plant. We had a student last time. I think she she might be from Davao City, I mean downtown, but she wanted to have a project. She's Christian in a Muslim community in Matina. And then she said, Oh, I want them to plant vegetables. We told the student you want them, but do they want it? Yes, that's right. That's, that's the question. Right. No? no, no, it's good for them. I said, you think it's good for them. Maybe it is, scientifically, you know, nutrition-wise. But do they want it? And then what happened? She went there and she said she was surprised why people don't water the plants. We told him it's because it's her <laughs> idea. It's not the community's yeah. idea. Exactly. The local people should have ownership of the project. Yeah. Back to Mohammed Yunus. You have to let the people know it's their project. No? Again, it's a good idea, but I don't know. That's why I wrote, did, did you see on the Facebook wall, I said, talk to your teacher or community leaders to find out no? what are the problems. Uh, composting may be good. Uh, it's really good, I believe in it. I have a compost at home every day we throw things. The question would be, uh, the farmers would say, I'm busy, I have no time. You have to sell the idea. I know it's a good idea. You're not selling it to me, but to the local people. Okay, why it is good no, for them. And if you're doing uh, things with technology like composting, it would be good if you ask your school's department, if you have a department of agriculture or whatever, your, I mean, college of agriculture, to help with you. Kasi kung ikaw magtuturo, baka kung ano-ano lang ituturo mo, na? Who will help you in your project? Uh, I'm going to learn more. See? Ikaw, and then, ikaw magtuturo ka nang na-learn mo lang na bago? It would be good. It's fine that you learn. Uh, it's better if you're doing vermiculture and all. You really have experts. The, the DNR will even be happy to come in uh, come to your project. You don't just say, we have a project compost. You must have ready materials you know, and everything. Okay. So, to all of you, get experts to help you. The experts could be local people or they could be from your own schools. But always involve the local people. Who will do your vermiculture? Same island or different island? Same island. Okay. All of you, again, no? uh, you might have a good idea, but make sure it works. Okay. No? Next. Yes. What about? What? When? Where? 
Yeah. Which is in uh, the province? Uh, no, it's it is uh, devastated with cyclones and the To all of the people who are thinking of tree planting, you have to talk with the DNR or the forestry, whatever the subsection of the DNR. Is that what they're still called? Yes. yes. Okay, DNR. To find out what kind of trees are needed in those areas. Don't just say, I want to plant coconut tree. No? You have to know what are the specific needs of the area. Each area needs different things. Okay? What will be planted? But you have to work with DNR, the agroforestry, and so on. No? Make sure. My project is community cleaning. So it is cleaning the barangay streets and rivers, making postcards, slogans in our community. And then kulang ulak sa katapat. So it is cleaning the barangay streets and rivers, making postcards, slogans, and posters in order to maintain the cleanliness in our community and also to maintain healthy trees on the river bank. Because in our river bank, uh, mara, uh, there are plenty of trees there, but because uh, there are many organizations who plant trees there, but. They did, they did not even uh, try to visit it if it grows it grows healthy because there are plenty of uh, grass there which uh, which kills those trees and uh, as well as promoting the proper waste dis uh, disposal because uh, as uh, as my community assessment finished I saw that uh, there are there are sacks of garbages there in our barangay because in our barangay there's a little room there which uh, we store our our uh, our plastics uh, but it is not well, seg well segregated so my partner organizations will be the Sangguniang Bayan, Sangguniang Kabataan and the National High School Faculty and Staff Indigenous People Indigenous People's Club, the USO Club, Math Club Values College Life Ministry and then People's Multi-Purpose Cooperative the Municipality of Palamula, the local government units and the non-government organizations I can also tap Sir Joven Ryan G. Malida, PYLP9, to make this successful. And um, about this uh, program or the activities, I've also many experiences about this because last year, especially in my high school life, we've also made these activities without any budget. So I think with this little budget, um, I can make this successful. And about, sustaini about sustainability, um, I think I can make this successful because uh, with those partnership with the Sangguniang Kabataan, then the Supreme Student Government Council of our school, I know that they also need uh, they also need to submit accomplishment report. And one part of the of those of that accomplishment report is those accomplishment reports they have made in our community. So I can have the partnership with them so that yearly or monthly or by three times a three times a year we can make this activity together so that not only I can benefit, but also them and also our community. Two comments. Have you heard what he said about partnering with how many organizations? So many. Five? Seven? Seven. Seven. That's it's really possible. Sir. Possible organization. Okay. Pero, possible. Pero yung share ko pa lang po, sir, is Sanguino Kabataan and the Supreme Student Government. Council. Okay, those are very important already, no? Sanguino Kabataan and Hydra. 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 If you get the support of one group, even just the student council, you already have the school uh, para yeah. imprimatur, no? So the school will be involved. All of you, if you can involve, who among you are the st student council? Involve your student council, all yes. of you. I see it would be a big project if you can make it, no? That would be great. So like what he is doing, all of you should try. Who among you are with the school paper? You're a journalist. Um. Hey, use your student paper. Huh? What are other big organizations in school? Um, um, sir, we have a lifestyle leadership community where all student government in all high school because we connect them. Oh, if you are even multi-school, that's yes. even better. School. Okay? If you can do city level. The more people are involved, the better. And make sure they are recognized. Yes. Don't have a messiah complex. 
I am God sent, I'm doing this, you should thank me for doing the project. No. Involve many people and better grassroots. The community should feel they have a stake. It's our project. They should be recognized. So the good comment was that in partnership. The question now is cleaning. How sustainable is that? And what's your main thrust? You mentioned a lot of things. Damo damo, yung puno, yung kalan. What's the main focus? But the main focus is that um, the proper waste disposal and the cleaning of our barangay. How? Um, and sir, we will first, of course, we will first clean our barangay. Yung sa ano lang yung uh, the center or plaza and the center of our barangay. Then after that, we will store those garbage on the storehouse. Then we will check all those garbage there and try to it away. Again, it's it's one hour. Yes, what sir. happens next? Two more one hour projects. I see a, a few one hour projects. That's a problem. If it's uh, a one hour project. Clean up, dump again. Meron kang partnering kailang bulong ni. So this is a good example then kain dalawa na may partners. So that it will be continuous. But then, ang partner niyo siguro one hour lang sa kanya every Saturday. Can you beat that? Every day. No, think about it. Because the one hour partnership is good. But then, if it's clean up, the person will come again and again. community project on uh, Apopong, Barangay Apopong in General Santa City. It's a four, 30 to 40 minutes drive uh, from my subdivision. And I plan to have a clean up and maintenance of the spring there. Because I, when I went to, to the spring, I met a local, local uh, townsman there. With, uh, he's a coach of a local swimming team there. And uh, they start. They just started the swimming team just last year because he he is just a father there and he has three kids. Uh, okay, three kids. don't give me the long story. Okay. Focus. Um, because they have this uh, spring spring and it's a really really good spring because they it's really like in the center of the forest like in the in the city and uh, it's uh, the people from the other side. It's it's like. Uh, uh, divided with, by the trees. On the other side, people are throwing there the garbage. So, so the garbage will connect to their to their city. So, uh, to their barangay. So, they uh, they just uh, they just need they need small equipments, just small equipments to clean the 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 spring. Like what equipment? The, like the goggles and just the floaters. How would the goggles clean? Because no, sir. Because. Uh, the, the kids can help because they're swimmers and the and the spring was is a very deep one so with the help of the goggles they can see and they can pick garbages from below and from the top okay goggles and goggles and filters only what are floaters made of like the sty styrofoam, styrofoam serum and, and they're covered with, by a, a small silk uh, like uh, silk, uh, silk. No, uh, no sir it's a styrofoam and it's covered by uh, cloth. cloth. Yeah, by a cloth. And uh, that's what they need to clean uh, the the bottom and the top. And then they can maintain because they just live in the in the rib side of the okay, river. Okay, once you give the goggles and the floaters, what happens? Uh, every every Saturday. Oh, uh, in open mo lang siya. And the teacher kasi college college student din ako kasi every uh, Wednesday wala po akong klase but I have to to uh, do some some school stuff then everyone's I, I'm not saying you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm then, saying so what happens so, after you give them the goggles? So after that, uh, every Saturday I can go there. You can, but I'm saying what are the concrete plans? That's just imaginary. So they are already going every Saturday. Yes, yes, sir, because uh, the the coach there, I've talked If I heard you right. I don't know. Much. I've talked to the coach there, sir, and he's a local. Uh, he's working. He's a what? Swimming coach. Swimming coach and uh, a fireman and a fireman. So every Saturday, I I will go there with my colleagues from uh from my okay. organization. All of you, reminder to everyone: 
what's the best way again if you've heard from your peers of making things sustainable network. you work with network yes network yes, okay like right? lgu dnr student organizations like the student council if you just go there i'll bring friends it's not sustainable yes sir okay. because uh I've already talked to the local government unit of the of the local city in Santa Santa City because my mother works there, and she has connections with the uh, with okay. the. Okay. Okay. Look, it, this is for everyone, not just you. For example, concretely, there is a weekly open to school. Nila. Tapos ang sabi ko, makapwede ni request ang teacher ng school yung mga sujanti ng project ng bawat class sa isang Saturday. So sa iyo. Ano ang magagawa mo to ensure the sustainability? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, I am in the organization in the school called Bakas MSU, and it's there. Uh, our our main goal is collecting collecting garbages because this our our organization is as is focused on ecological and maintaining the natural resources of General Santa City of what's left in General Santa City. So we try to try to. Uh, Look for on others, other places in General Santa City that needs that needs our help. So you that think your organization will want yes, to yes, take they, this they, project? Yes, yes. Did you talk to them already? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Because the hiking just happens twice a and month. And it's forty kilometers away. No, no, no. no minutes, 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 minutes. How far? Minutes. Minutes, minutes away from my subdivision. From your subdivision. Yes. Thank you. Two minutes, five minutes? Forty, forty, thirty. Because it's like in the city, it's a little bit uh, far, a little bit far from the city. Because it has forest, it's like a forest, like, and it, it's a uh, lake in the middle. So that's what they just really need and what they request. Because uh, the coach really wanted to, to do that. He, he's doing that. But he can really pr uh, he, he can really help because some of the garbages can. He lives there up. or no? Yes, he lives there. So why don't you partner with him? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Like main partner. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. we did that, and we okay. talked already. Thank you. Next. Good afternoon, sir. So I plan to prepare a community project about proper race disposal segregation. Since it's very broad, I I have specific plans about it. First is to um, conduct a talk we i will i will get speakers to to give lectures to the people lectures 50 percent i'm not I'm sorry. so <laughs> it's just part of yeah. so people will be educated so that because it, it is where they'll start if they know something about it so number two provide trash beans third okay, in, uh, in, in mandupangi it's 30 yeah. to 45 minutes from my house it's like in Mandupangi. That your house is where? In Bonnie. Davao. Davao City. City. Okay. <laughs> so and number three, community clean up and for I wait for uh before we went to Manila, I conducted a survey there. So their so their main problem is their disposal of this. So and they don't have trash collection. There's no trucks that go there to yes, collect okay. it. and. They don't have a compost pit, so I pl plan also to to make a compost. Uh, to mm, hold on. <laughs> I plan also that they should make a compost pit on their own or as a whole. And number five, reinforce rules. And also, according to their Purok leader, they <coughs> the, the people there aren't knowledgeable since the barangay barangay hall is very far from them so whatever announcement announcements from the barangay hall they, it can't be related to them so yeah and i was planning to network with um, my clubs in the school Igla Sapa, echo tinistapa nilipton youth and nature's club and also with the rotary club and the lgus and the dnr but i am not sure uh, the only club that i am sure with is the rotary club since my parents are Okay. If possible, also, and if your parents have connections, I've heard of you, use your parents' connections too. Okay? If you have connections. And, okay, you, you have too many components, try to focus. Kasi kung marami, 
na hindi po magawa lahat. No? For example, one big problem you say is garbage and there's no collection. So that's a big problem. Maybe something needs to be done. Kasi kung walang collection, talaga makakalat forever and ever. So what do you think should be done? Okay, if it's just a common place for people to throw, nobody would care about the compost pit, remember? If it's my backyard and I have like a plantation or rice paddy or I have coconut grove, I will want my compost pit because I can use the compost as fertilizer. But if it's just a common place to throw, yeah. so no one would care their, about one compost, composting. Composting, you should have their own composting. It's not their own because it's open for all. It's open, it belongs to Co no one, it's less Co no, no, because they don't have... I know, so the problem is even deeper. Uh, anong magawa niya? Can you help her? It not her, the community where she's trying to implement a community project. There's no collection, so what do you do? Um, find some, um, there are also companies that have garbage collection. Yeah, but um, the, the, there's no money there and they're not paying. So what do you do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to find a way to talk to the municipal government. And if you have media attention, positive media, don't you worry about your government. No? Like positive media showing that the government is helping, it will be good. Don't you think so? Yes. So maybe you alone cannot do it, but maybe you can reach out to the government, municipal government. And say, sir or ma'am, the problem dito alam namin na concerned kayo. Unahin na ninyo, no? You want to help them. Can you help make sure na merong garbage? collection every so often? Yes, because uh, it is the same community where I work my project before, so I know the people there. And then... Because oh, right. if you just collect one hour and there's no collection, yes. think how bad it is. No? The basurahan will be a basura. It's a basurahan <laughs> forever there, <laughs> in the whole place. So can you try to work with the municipal government as one major action? Yes. And then I don't know if you want to get the media. Positive again, huh? attention. Now on, nandito ng truck. At least once, oh, we don't know if they'll continue, but at least they'll show up one time for the collection. Can, is that possible? Yes, but I'm not sure with the Okay, that's fine. Hindi, ano lang yun, parang incentive yun sa government na uh, media. What about newspaper, hindi mo kayo mag Yes, possible. Well, I don't like the fact that government will have for the, for yeah, I know. For the government should do its job, but we know there's a problem here. Diba? So, what do you think? We'll just try to contact you. You'll try to contact. Okay. Uh, again, for people who are doing a one-hour project, it's a quickie project. I know three at least here who are doing that. It's an issue, right? It's a problem. Um, Especially, that's all you do, and there, it's always dirty. You're not helping. It's pakitan tao. It's pakitan tao lang yung yung pakiklin. One hour photo, tapos, and it's still dirty. So if you can contact the government, that would be excellent. Kaya mo ha, we'll do that. Parang. <laughs>